One of the tools in the garden that we rarely use, and we're only probably talking what, two, three times a year, would be that of a wheelbarrow. So why don't we do something fun with it, especially for last minute decoration purposes, okay? So here we have an old wheelbarrow, and if you happen to have boots, I don't have boots, we have big old clodhopper shoes over here, and you have some gloves that you can you can use, you can attach them to these legs over here, and then you can make it very festive. Check this out, isn't this kind of fun right here? So you've got ourselves a nice little, uh, we can make that thing stay over here. Uh, we have ourselves a nice festive type of tool that we could either have it in the garden or put it on your porch and let it greet people. Why not? You could actually put a platter right here uh, or even right here and put some cookies on it. It's kind of fun. Let's get together with this wheelbarrow right here. Now, as I mentioned, wheelbarrows aren't used but a couple of times a year. So one of the neat things that I thought is that we can take and make planters out of them. Of course, if it's going to be raining, we have to cover this up. But during the holidays, days like this, if you put it on a porch or something, it can really do something neat. And we're going to just reuse all of this uh, compost and soil back in the garden anyhow, so it's not like it's ever going to go to waste. Now, I don't suggest taking and drilling holes through this because this is actually a, a good wheelbarrow. If it's an old one like that one over there we saw, then maybe you can drill some holes in for drainage and then do it and keep it forever like this. Now, the thing of it is that we are going to be planting containers in here with the plants. We, and we're gonna put fake plants in here as well. Oh my goodness, are we gonna do such a thing? Now, there's no right way and there's no wrong way of doing something like this. So we can take a, a plant like, uh, like this right here and we could just dig it out and then cover the plant up. Isn't this kind of fun? Again, no right way, no wrong way. We're gonna make this a festival one here. All right, there's no place like, how was to say? There's no place like gnome for the holiday. Get it? Gnome for the holiday. So why not bring out a real gnome, <laughs> okay? So we'll stick, a, we'll stick a real gnome. We got a nice little welcome over here. Bury this guy in here. And you could see how this is actually starting to shape up. I really love this concept and idea. Now we have some, this right here is called a polka dot plant. I'm not gonna plant it, I'm gonna raise it up a little bit. And don't forget, you gotta water these things afterwards. Okay, you gotta keep, keep everything watered. We're just gonna put this polka dot plant here up in the front, bury it deep, cover it up a little bit, and we've got ourselves some of that. Now, if we wanna add a little flash to what we're doing, we can add a little flash Nothing says holidays like a poinsettia. I would probably get a real poinsettia and put it in, but this just happened to come out of our, our area over here. I would even maybe put a bow right in here. We've got more plants. Oh, if you wanted to, you can actually, see this right here, this is a, um, this is a light that the light turns on. So you can even have a little beacon going in this area. I think there's a little too much dirt on the top over here. So we're, we're landscaping, that's what we're doing. And if you wanted to do something really cool, you can put this water in like this and we're gonna kind of cover it up. Oops, ah, didn't mean to do that. But anyway, just to show you real quick, we've got some real snow. So if you were to put this in here, this will eventually hydrate for us and it will become snow. So if anybody wants any inf more information or wants to talk gardening with us, give me a call at 1-800-405-NIC. And remember, happy holidays. Mm -hmm.